Us with me, Livio Lara. Today we're gonna have a really exciting tasting of nine different Macallan whiskeys. What are we gonna learn? Well, we're gonna learn a little bit why this iconic distillery has these different marks, and we're gonna learn the difference in the taste and the flavor and the price of each and every one of them. My name is Livio, and I produce this show so that I can give you some expert instructions on how to drink better and how to really navigate through this fascinating world of alcoholic beverages. Did I say it's fascinating? I sure did. And if you have seen any of my episodes before and you're coming back, thanks for coming back. Why don't you consider subscribing to Master Glass and actually giving a like to this show as well. So moving on to a single malt Scotch whiskey. What is a single malt Scotch whiskey? Well, it is a, of course, a whiskey that is made in Scotland from 100% barley from Scotland. It needs to come from a single distillery if it's called a single malt. And in this case, that single distillery is of course the uh, Macallan. And it needs to be aged for a minimum of three years in Scotland and most of them are aged for much longer than that. Now the Macallan is of course a whiskey that is produced in an area of Scotland called the Speyside. Now the Speyside is a protected geographical Scotch producing region which yields some of the best selling and some of the most famous uh, single malt whiskeys available on the market today. Okay, so as I mentioned, I'm gonna move these a little bit over here to the side just so we can use the center for tasting. Just set that right over there, just like that. Okay. All right, so the first whiskey I am going to uh, crack open, this is the Macallan Double Cask Gold, uh, the most economical one of the lineup of Macallan. And this one here will retail at least in my city, I live in Las Vegas, right at about 65 to $70. Um, because there's no age statement, and as you can tell from its color as well, it's really light. It's fair to say that this is not uh, a highly aged whiskey. And it's also fair to say that, of course, there's very little of that sherry oak in it because we know that the sherry oak uh, will give us a completely different uh, color profile. So I'm gonna give this a, you know, a burnished gold color. And uh, let's go ahead and give this a sniff. Oh, it's very sweet on the aroma. I'm getting like an orange and a, some citrus notes. Some honey is jumping as well out of here. Maybe a touch of vanilla, actually more than a touch of vanilla now that I'm really getting to it and um, very flowery floral um, in its aroma. So really, really nice. Let's go ahead and give this a sip. Mm. Well, I'm still getting those citrus notes. Um, it's definitely a little less um, orangey uh, on the aroma and less floral than it was on the nose. Right now, I'm just getting a lot more citrus and a lot more ginger. Um, it's really, really dry uh, towards the end. Um, it has a long finish and it's actually, you know, a really good whiskey. Moving on to the second one. Now I am going to try the double cask 12 year. Like we said earlier, for it to be 12 years old, that means that the youngest whiskey blended in this bottle must be 12 years old at least. I'll set that right over there. Let's go ahead and give this a twirl. Now definitely here, the color is a little more amber. It's got some hints of copper. So we're, we can notice that there's a really big difference in the color, which means there's also a big difference in the aging process of this product. Now, by the way, Macallan does not use any sort of coloring to make their whiskey uh, have a darker color. Uh, that type of product, I actually have one here. It's called E150. It is legal, but McAllen does not use it anywhere. And if I put a couple of drops of these in water, you can see that I could achieve this color without really having to age. Once again, not the case for McAllen. All right, on the aroma, just uh, dried fruits, maybe some raisins, just a hint of butterscotch as well. It's really lovely. Mm. 
really nice texture. We're definitely getting into um, a whiskey that has a lot more body and a lot more flavor to it. I'm getting some cinnamon. I'm getting some, maybe some very delicate orange marmalade. And um, the finish is quite long and it's, it has a, a really nice vanilla and raisin note to it. Very lovely. And I will set that right over there. Our next whiskey in the lineup here is going to be the Double Oak 15 year. Let's see what we got here. Just like that. We'll set that right over here. Okay, well, again, now we're, uh, the color is coming in and because McAllen does not really uh, augment their color, uh, we're gonna call this a dark gold color. And let's give it a twirl. Now again, a lot of tasters will tell you not to swirl your spirit because it really sends out a lot of aroma. My glass here is fairly tall. So in the case of my glass, I like to do that. Um, so depending on what you're tasting your whiskey with, there's not a real set of rules. That rule comes with, those rules come with what's in front of you. My glass is a little bit taller, so I do that kind of to get the aroma to jump out a little bit more. So um, butterscotch aroma is coming out. Again, that raisin um, that I was also getting from the 12 year. Um, some, maybe some spiced apple, some pear, you know. I'm getting like a nice little, um, some of the notes that I would get from an apple pie, some spices like cinnamon. Really, really nice on the nose. Mm. Mm. Texture here is really, really nice. Very well round. Um, completely what makes a very, uh, all the qualities of a nice distillate is that really nice, well-rounded texture. It's bold, it's thick, it's got weight, but it's very clean. So I'm getting hints of cinnamon, candy, ginger, maybe a little bit of orange peel, you know, and relatively a dry finish on this one right here. And I'm gonna set it right over there. And I'm gonna move on to the next one. This one here is the 18 double cask. And let's see what this one's all about. Top that off just like that. Okay, and so what we have here is McAllen Double Cask 18 Year. And the color here is just a light mahogany. Definitely now we are into uh, a whiskey that you can tell is aged 18 years. Um, let's go give this a try and see what we're getting here. Nice aroma. I'm getting that signature raisin aroma that I was getting earlier. Some dried fruit, maybe a little bit of toffee. Slight orange, slight uh, citrus, not as much as I was getting in the earlier um, whiskeys that I was tasting. Hmm. On the flavor, Oh, a lot of toffee, a lot more cinnamony, a lot more spices coming into place. And then it's funny because right at the halfway mark, some caramel and vanilla kind of kicks in and um, it's really well balanced and actually a very delicious glass of whiskey. Uh, again, because I have a lineup of so many here, it may seem like I, I might just be going through the motions, but if all I had right now was this, I would be perfectly fine today. We'll set that right over here. Yeah, nice long finish, really good texture, amazing mouthfeel. Okay, let's move on to the next one. I'm gonna scoop these a little bit over here. Now what I have here is the McAllen 12. Again, this is the Sherry Oak, so this is the core. Um, there is no respectable uh, whiskey shelf in the world that does not have this product on it. Uh, the color is, I'm gonna go just like a rich gold color. Very, very beautiful. And aroma, vanilla notes, and I get 
when these, uh, when a lot of whiskey critics say that there's a little sulfur, I'm getting that little slight sulfur. Very pleasant, by the way. It's balanced by vanilla uh, in this glass of Macallan. Um, I'm getting a little like, uh, God, like a green pear uh, aroma to it. Green apple, kind of young a little bit uh, on the note, but then I'm getting some of those spices from the sherry. Let's go ahead and... Mm. 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 Oh yeah, so I'm getting some really nice fruit. Uh, the integration of the oak is really nice. So I have fruit over on one side. I have um, oak aging on the other side. What does oak aging taste like? Vanilla, you know, spices. And the two of them are actually working really well together. Not one of them is overpowering. The other one, you probably noticed that my mouth is watering and that is always uh, a very beautiful thing. Um, I'm getting some cinnamon now towards the end. Probably the spices are kicking in a little bit more towards the end and the fruits that earlier were a little bit more balanced are kind of sitting in the back. Very, very, very pleasant. I have a really long finish in my mouth. Um, dried fruits, um, oak, cinnamon, lots of really, really nice flavors, an intense uh, raisiny flavor in my mouth right now. This is absolutely delicious. All right, let's move on to our next bottle here. Now we're gonna go ahead and try Macallan 18. This one here, like I said earlier, is the Sherry Cask, which is in general uh, part of their core lineup. Move that right there. That. All right. Typically 18 years is right about where I like a whiskey to be. So let's go ahead and give this a little twirl. This bottle here will retail right at about $320, at least where I uh, live. Again, that's Las Vegas, Nevada. A light mahogany color to it. I'm gonna give it a gentle little swirl. Mmm, dried fruits. Mmm, ginger. A little bit of those, like a baked apple of some sort. A really nice freshness to it. 18 years old, but we're still very, very fresh. Um, more of those cinnamon spices. Mm. Really a nice soft um, whiskey. Bold in texture, very, very rich, but not in your face. This is still a very easy to drink uh, style of whiskey. And of course, I've been doing this for a minute. So maybe, um, you know, these, uh, these, this type of a drink for me is super, super simple, but really, really nice. I'm getting mature oak. I'm getting very well rounded uh, fruit integration, orange. Um, again, that apple, that raisin, that's probably coming from the sherry cask. And then at the end, I'm getting these really nice spices, vanilla, ginger, cinnamon. So, so nice, so, so rich. Okay, we are now going to move on to the next one. Actually, I'm gonna scoot this a little bit over here so that I don't, you know, get out of the way of the camera. Okay, we're gonna put this right over here. And now what I have is Macallan 25. So a bottle like this will uh, wholesale at about $1,500. So it's, uh, it's not cheap, but this type of whiskey here is exactly the type that you would crack open at a graduation or uh, you know, at a very, very special, uh, in a very, very special occasion. So this is Macallan. 25 year sherry oak. Um, sometimes it's not easy to find this product, but uh, you know, the operations at McAllen is really, really efficient. So they are able to make this. Uh, and just occasionally, sometimes, depending on the country you live in, it might be hard uh, for you to find a bottle, uh, but they do keep up with it, uh, with the production very nice. All right, the color here is a very rich mahogany. And uh, I, I must admit, I'm pretty excited to uh, drink this one today. Oh, lemon citrus on the nose, which again, for a 25 year thinking of something so fresh and so citrusy and so bright, 
is uh, just a, a masterful way to distill your whiskey or to age it in that case too. I'm getting some cinnamon, maybe some, some cherry notes, some bright cherry notes. Only a little touch of vanilla, more on the citrus side than, and on the, and on the um, spice side than uh, on the big uh, dark fruit side. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Rich, dried fruits, um, a hint of smoke. Actually, more than a hint of smoke. Quite a bit of smoke is kicking in right now. And um, just my palate is full of flavors. There's a lot going on everywhere here. Dried fruit, wood, smoke, spice. Uh, there's a reason why this is one of the most sought after uh, not just whiskeys, products in the world, it's because the combination of everything that it brings to your mouth is really one of a kind. Um, uh, so really an amazing product. Um, that was a delicious um, pour right there. Okay, we're gonna move on to the next one. I'm really excited about this one. It's the McAllen Estate. This was created by uh, McAllen's master uh, whiskey maker who is Sarah Burgess and um, this whiskey here, as I mentioned in the intro to this show, is basically a nod to what is the Easter Elkies estate of McAllen, uh, because um, most, if not all, of the barley that is inside this bottle comes directly from the estate versus being purchased from the other farmers that, um, of course, the McAllen utilizes, all of which, of course, are really respectable and really, um, you know, uh, vetted, but nonetheless, this has a really special uh, type of barley because it only comes from the estates of uh, McAllen. I guess this in color is a chestnutty, maybe a light, almost dark brown. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a spin. On the aroma, oh my goodness, a lot of notes of cinnamon and a lot of wood spice here coming. Little bit of that signature uh, citrus and raisin flavor that I've gotten so far in uh, all of the McAllen's. This time here, I'm also getting a little bit like of a banana note. Really, really nice. Mm. Oh, the flavor here is wood spice, um, really dry, oak flavored. Um, some candied raisin, um, some fresh fig. I almost feel like somebody squished a little fig in here and then filtered it out and it's coming right into my mouth. Of course, that did not happen. It's just really, really nicely done. And it's really amazing how all of those flavors, including orange uh, that I'm now starting to taste, were integrated inside of this whiskey. So truly, truly amazing. Uh, last, but definitely uh, not least here, is I have the McAllen Rare Cast. As I mentioned earlier in the intro, this whiskey here has no age statement. And what that means is that it really allows uh, the producer to not have to worry about the age. Is it 25? Is it 18? Is it 12? But just really worry about making a really nice whiskey. So excited about this one as well. Whoa, that's got a little heavy cap going on. Okay, the color here is a, I would say maybe a rich mahogany in color. Oh yeah, when I stand it up, I get a little bit more of that mahogany uh, uh, color to it. On the nose, oh, I'm getting some vanilla Still that orange fruit flavor that comes from, that I've been tasting throughout. So a lot of citrus and lemon and orange in McAllen uh, that I really did not uh, point out and, and really get to until I tasted all of this lineup. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Mm, mm. Oh my, really complex, rich oak rich vanilla, some chocolate, perhaps some 
a leather or some tobacco, uh, some toffee. Wow, this here is really, really rich. And, you know, as I was discussing earlier, some of the other lineups were fresh, despite the fact that they were aged for a long time. This one moves away from the fresh side and really gives more of those dark chocolate, rich, big notes. Um, I'm actually really happy I tasted this one at the end of the tasting because um, it really uh, does stand up to everything else I tasted before that. Um, I do get a little citrus zest in this uh, whiskey um, that's coming in. Mm. And very, very delicious. Wow. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, this tasting and uh, please do leave me comments uh, below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know if you would like me to taste just two against each other and I will leave you those comments. And uh, do be sure to tune back into Master Your Glass with me, Livio Laro, where you get expert instruction for everyday consumption.